Melanoma is the leading cause of skin cancer deaths and is a type of cancer that develops from malignant epidermal melanocytes. For the CDC, more than 9,000 Americans die each year from melanoma. The primary cause of melanoma is exposure to UV radiation from the sun. It's an extremely metastatic cancer that can quickly spread to nearby tissues, especially to the brain, bone, liver, and lungs. Melanoma can appear anywhere on the body where melanocytes are present, but it's most commonly found on new moles or birthmarks. Approximately 25% of cases come from existing moles. There are differences in the way melanoma affects men and women. Women tend to develop melanoma on their back and lower legs, while men tend to get it on their head, neck, chest, and abdomen. Men have a higher risk of mortality from melanoma than women. Individuals who sunburn easily, have lighter skin, have freckles and or atypical navy, and have used tanning beds before the age of 30 are at a higher risk of developing melanoma. Melanoma has certain signs and symptoms to look out for, including irregular borders or surfaces, flat or elevated lesions, possible erosion or ulceration, and typically being less than one centimeter in size. The color of melanoma can vary, but it's typically black, dark brown, or tan. Educate patients regarding the ABCDE rule, which stands for asymmetry, border irregularity, color change and variation, diameter of 6 millimeters or larger, and evolving in appearance. Encourage patients to perform this self-exam at least once a month and to notify a healthcare provider immediately if a lesion meets any of these criteria. If you are finding value in this video, then please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and check out the link in the description to purchase an instant digital download of the Integumentary System and Disorders Nursing School Notes, which includes melanoma skin cancer reviewed in this video. Diagnosing melanoma usually requires a biopsy, preferably an excisional biopsy. The treatment of melanoma varies depending on the stage of the tumor, the age and health of the patient, and the original tumor site. Staging is determined based on the thickness of the tumor, lymph node involvement, and the presence of metastasis. This is known as the TNM staging system, which stands for Tumor Nodes Metastasis. Stage zero melanoma, also known as melanoma in situ, is the earliest stage of melanoma and has a good prognosis. The cancer is confined to the epidermis, the top layer of the skin, and it's not yet spread to nearby lymph nodes or other parts of the body. Treatment usually involves surgical excision of the tumor. Stage 1 melanoma has invaded the dermis, the second layer of the skin, but it's still relatively small and has not yet spread to nearby lymph nodes or other organs. Treatment may involve surgical excision of the tumor along with a small area of surrounding skin. Stage 2 melanoma has grown larger than stage 1 and may have penetrated deeper into the skin, but still has not spread to nearby lymph nodes or organs. Treatment may involve wider surgical excision of the tumor and surrounding skin, as well as a sentinel lymph node biopsy to check for the presence of cancer in the lymph nodes. Stage 3 melanoma has spread to nearby lymph nodes, but has not yet reached distant organs. Treatment may involve surgery to remove the tumor and lymph nodes, as well as adjuvant therapy such as radiation, immunotherapy, or targeted therapy to help prevent recurrence. Stage 4 melanoma is the most advanced stage, and the cancer is spread to distant organs such as the lungs, liver, or brain. Treatment may involve systemic therapy such as chemotherapy, immunotherapy or targeted therapy, as well as surgery and radiation to remove or shrink tumors. Palliative care may also be prescribed to assist with symptom management and side effects of therapy. Unfortunately, the prognosis for stage 4 melanoma is poor, with less than 10% of patients surviving beyond 5 years. It's very important for you and patients to be aware of the risk factors, signs, and symptoms of melanoma because early detection and treatment are essential for improving the prognosis of this form of cancer. Please feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions and thank you for watching.